MCM coverage of MHS Sports is proudly presented by our silver sponsor, McNamara Financial. Asset management and financial planning done by real people. Taking good care of your clients is the only way to run a successful business long term. We want to work with our clients for life and giving honest advice without regard to compensation is how we accomplish that. Two juggernauts of a team playing today in the final four of this D2 playoff matchup. Rams number three seed. The Knights number two, both seven and two on the year. 950 remaining in the first quarter. Moss is gonna go empty set. Crowley is getting sent back and forth in motion. They take the snap. Moss is looking for a yes guy. He's gonna air it up deep to Carroll. Oh, just over his head. Ball just over the head of Charlie Carroll. So I'll bring up a fourth down and 10 for the Rams. And the Hunt unit is running onto the field. Great job by that CM secondary right there. The Rams are gonna have to punt this one away. Punt it back deep with 942 remaining in the first. Folks, I'm human, I apologize. PA letting us know he's, he's human, messing up, but it's a day of mistakes so far today. A lot of technical errors, but we're making it happen. The snap goes all over the head of the punt return. He's gonna have to make a cut. And he's running to the left side. He breaks one down. He's going to go out of bounds. And a muff putt from Marshfield. And the Knights are going to take over at the 15-yard line. Phenomenal field position. Christian Sanchez for the Knights. Pushes him out of bounds on the tackle. So the Knights offense will now get their second drive of the game going. Marshfield is up 7-6. With the Knights on a drive, they go heavy set. They're gonna run a QB draw. No, just a run play up the middle, and he's running behind that big offensive line. He's gonna be close to a first down. He actually did pick it up. That was LaShawn Sharp for the Knights on the carry. A lot of personnel change, bringing in the big boys for the Rams. It's gonna bring first and goal. Knights growing quickly. They're gonna to toss to the middle on the Rams' D-line. Good job to wrap them up right there. We about a gain of one. Chris Sanchez on the carry once again. Second and goal. Sheehan on the tackle with the big defensive lineman. Second and goal. Coming up for the Knights. Big offensive line for this team. It was definitely talked about by the Rams all week. No guy is shorter than 6'2", I believe, on this offensive line as they take the snap, hand up, up the middle, and the Rams D-line is all over it. Sharp on the carry, and the Rams D-line all over, gonna be a loss of one. Thomas Kelly comes up to make the tackle for the Rams. 8.30 remaining, seven to six. Your Rams have the lead right now versus Catholic Memorial. It's gonna be third and goal from the seven. Change of personnel. The Knights have yet to go through the air tonight. They're bringing in more wide receivers, though. So Kelly's going to split out. Knights take the snap. They're going to look to throw. Pressure is coming, and the Rams are going to sack. No, he breaks the tackle. Now they get to him at the 10 yard line. And Marshfield's defensive line holds strong on the second drive of the game. Fourth and goal from the 12 yard line. Ekstrom was on the tackle first, and Charlie Leach came in later. Fourth and goal, 740 remaining here at Bridgewater Raynham High School. Your division two final four matchup. And I can already tell you, this is gonna be a juggernaut of a game right now, and the field goal unit is running onto the field for the Knights. And we're going to take a quick timeout. We're going to take a quick timeout. Get us all situated here at Marshfield Community Media. 7 to 6 is your score. 7 22 remaining in the first. We'll be back. MCM coverage of MHS Sports is proudly presented by our silver sponsor, McNamara Financial. When it comes to your money and your financial affairs, let the McNamara family help you. There are four certified financial planner practitioners at McNamara Financial Services. For more information, call 781-834-2010 or visit us at McNamaraFinancial.com.
Welcome back. We have a fourth down and goal. The field goal unit is out there for the Knights. Snap is down. The kick is up. He's got the leg for it. But it's no good. Wide left. And the Rams maintain their 7-6 lead after the second drive of the Knights. Marshall Dolphins is going to take over after a three and out. If you're just joining us, you may be wondering, how do the Rams have points? Giovanni Joseph, Joseph took the opening kickoff for a touchdown. And then the Knights pushed right down after. 7-17 remaining in the first turnover on downs. Rams offense is now taking the field. So first down and 10, Rams are gonna take over from their own 20 yard line. Moss is in the gun. He's going to send Crowley in motion, take the snap, hand off to True up the middle. True breaking a couple of tackles, keeps his legs moving, going to pick up about five. Six, seven, so second and five three. coming up for the Rams. Taken down by number five, Roquan. Roquan on the tackle for the Knights, second down and five. Moss takes the snap, he's looking to throw, time's winding down, he has to roll out, ball comes loose, and it's picked up by True, but no, they say that Moss was down, they call it an incomplete pass, actually. So they say that was an incomplete pass intended for Moss. So a third down and five is coming up. Both these teams are absolute juggernauts here on offense. We mentioned the Rams averaging 53 points per game in the playoffs, which they've stepped it up, they averaged 46. Point six or 41.6, excuse me, during the regular season. So a big step up. Third down and five, hard count gets no one with True coming into motion. The Rams are gonna reset. Three receivers to the right. Crowley's at the bottom of your screen, single coverage. Moss is gonna take the snap. We're gonna throw a blitz. It's coming through over the middle, just through the hands of his intended receiver. That was James Brilliant. So another three and out for the Rams, and they're going to pump this one away. Brilliant was open on that one, just unable to make that pass. You can see Catholic Memorial looking a little bit scrambled here early in the game. As it was a big shock. We heard guys fired up on the sidelines when the Rams took that opening kickoff to the house for a touchdown. They're trying to settle into the game. Marshfield trying to ride some momentum, but they're going to have to pump this one away first. Brilliant's going to come in motion to the right. The snap is good. And Rosopoulos is going to boot this one away. It is fielded by Catholic Memorial at the 50. He makes a cut. A flag is going to come in late from the back. I believe that's going to be a hold against Catholic Memorial. We'll see what the call is with the way it was thrown. That was Leach on the punt, excuse me. Returned by number two, LaShawn Sharp. LaShawn Sharp on the return for the Knights. The last time these teams matched up was in 2021. Same scenario, the final four. Rams versus Knights, that one was in Brockton. We're here today at Bridgewater Raynham. It was a close game the last time they played. Score might not tell it. CM won 41 to nothing, but at halftime, the Rams held them to a 14 to nothing lead. Only a two touchdown lead, and then CM exploded in the second half, and they went on their way to win the state championship that year, as well as last year. CM calling this the game before the game is how they, is how they promoted this game. Looking to get their three-peat. Rams trying to get revenge back from 2021. 644, or 634, excuse me, remaining in the first. Knights are gonna take over first down and 10. They take the snap, handoff up the middle, and the Rams D-line is all over that one. Once again, only a gain of about two. Second down and eight coming up. It was sharp on the carry. This big Rams defensive line with Nate Russell, Ekstrom, Burho, done a great job all year. John McAlpine, one of the edge guys as well. Lines up on that D-line. Second down and eight, the handoff up the middle. Once again, and Leach comes in to make the tackle with the rest of the Rams defensive line. McAlpine and Devine all in there. It's gonna bring a third and six up for the Knights. Rams defensive line has looked very good. It was the same situation when they played in 2021. Rams did a very good job on defense versus the Knights, but it was difficult for them to get anything going on offense. We're seeing a little bit of the same action right here. Third down and six, they're gonna hand it off up the middle and the Rams D-line all over that one. Only a gain of maybe one. 
Brady Boney got into a little extra action early. A flag is going to come in late. I believe the penalty went against the Rams. No, what's the... Okay, so I think they... Okay, sideline infraction was the call. So it's going to bring up a fourth down and five. Nice punting unit is on the field. The snap is up. High punt, going to go deep to Brilliant. And Brilliant's just going to let it roll to about the nine yard line. Decided not to return this one. The Rams are going to take over. I think you see a little bit of nerves from both teams right here. They both know it is a massive game. 7 6 is your score right now. The Rams lead 5 5 remaining in the, fir the first. Thank you for joining us here on Marshfield Community Media. We appreciate whether you joined us at the beginning or joining us now. A little bit of technical difficulties here early. If you joined us in the early first quarter, it was pretty much a radio broadcast. Only sound. We didn't have any camera. We have that going for you now. A little bit of a rainy day here at Bridgewater Raynham. High school, the neutral location on where this game is played. So the Rams are going to take over from their own nine-yard line. They're going to go empty set. Couples is going to come in motion. They're going to hand off to Couples, who takes a jet sweep to the right outside. Couples breaking a couple of tackle. O-line tries to push them a little bit forward. Good pickup of Couples. Going to get about five. Bring up second down for the Rams. If you're just joining us, Giovanni Joseph took the opening kickoff to the house. And that's how the Rams have scored so far. CM on their first drive opened up with a touchdown. Going from there. Second down to six. True up the middle, barreling down for a first down. Marshfield not going to get a three and out this time around. Offense starts to move, and that's the guy they got to look for. Number six, Davin True, been electric for them all year, the junior. First down to 10. Rams going quick. They're going to go mass QB Cooper up the middle. Going to fall forward for a couple, maybe just a yard or two. We say two, second down and eight coming up for the Rams. Moss, a very athletic quarterback with his legs. Saw that versus Plymouth North, and you see it pretty much every game he plays in. Rocket of an arm, able to do it on his legs as well. Second down and eight. Bergamesco running back and forth in motion. Moss takes the snap. He's going to throw the flat just over the head of Reed Bergamesca. Bring up a third down and eight for the Rams. That's the pressure by number 26, Jaden Johnson. Jaden Johnson on the pressure and the coverage for the Knights. So the Rams with a big third down here. They're going to go trip receivers to the left. Crowley at the top of your screen and single coverage by himself. Couples moving back and forth in motion. Moss takes the snap, looking to throw. Time's winding out. He's going to air it out deep to Crowley. Oh, that ball was almost picked off in the air. DJ overall on the coverage, and they'll bring up a fourth down, and Rams over three on drive, gonna have to punt this one away. We knew this was gonna be their biggest matchup of the year. Rams averaged 41.6 points per game this season. Actually, they're gonna go for it right now on, no, never mind, excuse me. <laughs> Little bit of a personnel mishap, but there's going to be Leach to punt this one away. He got really good height on that, not as much. The distance is going to take a bad, bad bounce for the Rams. And the Knights are going to have great field position from the Rams' 42-yard line. 344 remaining. Rams have a one-point lead here at Bridgewater Raynham. Call from the 41 is where... The Knights are going to take over. Like we mentioned earlier, a lot of nerves go into this game. This game is the semifinal. The winner of this goes on to play King Phillip at Gillette Stadium for the state championship. First and 10, they're going to hand off up the middle, and the Rams D line all over them once again. And I'll tell you what, this Rams D line is showing some fight right now. Gillis on the carry for the Knights. Whole swarm of Rams on the defensive line are going to take him out. Wow, a big personnel change. All of the skills guys coming out right now for Catholic Memorial, moving a bunch of pieces around. 
and a flag came in late. So the Rams had too many men on the field, so it's going to be a second down and five. They move it up. Never saw a flag come in on that one. They don't even have the spot right on the field right now. They're moving it around a ton. So we're going to replay? No. We don't even know what's going on here, folks. I apologize. It was first, now it's second. Then moves back fourth. First, now it's back to second. There we go. So second down and five is the spot now. The Knights are going to throw a screen to the outside. It is caught by the receiver. The Rams are going to tackle him as he crosses that 30-yard line as it'll be enough for a first down. Kelly and Molander on the coverage along with Leach. Garrity on the carry for the Knights. First and 10 from the 30. So they will have first and 10 from the 30, the Knights that is. First of ball number 24, Gio Joseph. And Knights taking a little bit of time here, setting this up as they have a fresh set of downs. Rams always look very on point, a little back and forth so far today, looked a little bit messy. Some nerves coming in. Take the snap, throw to the outside, is caught by his receiver and he's gonna be down after a six yard pickup. Keepla on the reception. Joseph on coverage once again. A lot of personnel changes we're seeing early here from both teams. Second and four from the Knights. They like to run that power run game a lot of the time. They get in this bunch formation. Same coming out right here. They're going to hand it off to the outside. He's got blockers with him, breaks a couple of tackles, and it's going to be taken down up for a first down pickup. Now Sanchez on the carry. Devine comes up to make the play for the Rams. Nice pick up a first down. 2-10 remaining in the first quarter of action. And the Rams, or excuse me, the Knights are going to take over from 18 yard line, first down and 10. They're gonna hand it up the middle, and he breaks a couple of tackles, making a cut to the goal line. Tackle just at that six yard line. Sharp with the carry. Joseph on the tackle is gonna pick up another first down for the Knights. First and goal from the six. Rams playing with a lead right now, but the momentum as we have first and goal in Catholic Memorial who run up the middle, breaking tackles. To the goal line, he's down just at that one yard line, bring up second and goal. So the Rams trying to make a goal line stand. They're gonna pitch it to the outside, diving to the end zone. And they say touchdown Catholic Memorial. The Knights punch in their second touchdown of the day. Touchdown number 24, Chris Sanchez. It was Sanchez on the carry to punch it in. And the Knights now lead for the first time today, 12 to seven. They go for two, the two point conversion up the middle and they get it. So they run that wild formation the Rams usually run. And they bring this down to a full touchdown, seven point lead. And 14 to seven is your lead now with a minute 21 remaining. The Rams will try and get this one back on offense, which has been pretty stagnant for them so far. Number four, Brian Green. That was Brian Green on the two-point conversion carry for the Knights. Number four, Zach Brown. Zach Brown, excuse me. <laughs> A lot of confusion on the technical side here today, folks. Apologize for that. Big one for a great game, nonetheless. Big scoring first half so far for both teams. So Catholic Memorial is gonna get set to kick this one back off to the Rams. It's a big boot, it's gonna be fielded by Joseph once again who drops the ball, then he recovers it. They do a fake pitch to the outside. Joseph has the ball and he's running down the right sideline. Makes another cut and a great return from the Rams. Gio Joseph, a special teams phenom today. 
And he's going to take that to about the 43-yard line for the Rams. That's where they're going to take over on offense, the best field position they've had all day. And the Rams really need to get something going on offense right here. Moss has yet to complete a pass. True has been on the ground. Decent amount. It's the only time they've gotten a first down. Bench is a little bit wet here, a little bit rainy. So the weather might be playing some elements here. We'll see if the Rams can overcome that. First down and 10. They're going to take the snap, hand off to True up the middle, who makes a cut. Damn it, True! Big cut! Oh, True breaks the hole! True! He's got two men to beat. They're hunting him down, and True is going to get tackled, but not after a massive gain for the Rams. David True getting to the 12-yard line, and Marshfield going quick. Johnson on the tackle. That man, number six, can carry the rock. They're going to throw to the outside, and it's just over the head of Couples if he got his head around. Could have been a big play. Bring up second down and 10 for the Rams who are putting themselves together a drive with 55 seconds remaining in the first quarter. This Rams team, they have explosiveness at their skills position. They just gotta be able to find it. Got some whistles blown on the field. Here we go, all right, so second down and 10, we're back into the game. Couples comes in motion to the right. They're going to take the snap. Hand off to True up the middle. True up the gap. Touchdown, Marchfield. David True shoots it right up the gap of the defensive line. And the Rams tie this one back up, bearing an extra point from Tommy Kelly. Marshfield responds back on offense. And we got a ball game for you today, folks. What a run from Davin True, been the number one option on offense all year. And the Rams punch in a touchdown. And you can sense Catholic Memorial starting to realize that this is a game between these Marshfield Rams. Snap is through, it's down, excuse me, through the uprights. Kelly's kick is good, and we are tied up 14 to 14 with 45 seconds remaining. In the first quarter, the Rams are on top. We're going to keep you here on MCM as we only have 45 seconds remaining in the quarter. So we'll keep you for the kickoff. Both these teams, massive juggernauts. The two and the three seed matching up right now. Last game for Marshfield, they won 51 to 24 versus Bitch at Fiam. Catholic Memorial won 42 to 21 versus Wellesley. The offense for CM exploded in that third quarter for 21 points. Rams with 393 total yards. It was a dominant performance for the Rams. Talked to a couple of the players after that game. They felt like it was the best game they played all season, and they feel prepared today, and that's definitely reflecting right now. Kickoff is going to go out of bounds. I'll be a penalty against the Rams. That was Drosopoulos on the kick. And we will get ready to take over with the Knights offense. Just scored on their last drive. Rams responded. This Marshfield defensive line had a great fourth down and goal stand if you missed us earlier. Or third and goal stand, excuse me. And it forced the Knights to attempt a field goal. We lost the scoreboard for a second, and it is back. So from the 40-yard line, the Knights are going to take over as we're coming to the end of the first quarter of action. They're going to take the snap, hand off to the outside. He's got a big gap. He breaks one tackle. Joseph misses one, still on his feet, and he's going to be tackled not before he picks up a first down, sharp on the ground for the Knights. Boney, the first man to meet him. Joseph missed a couple of tackles, a lot of missed tackles for the Rams, and flag is blown. Pre-snap penalty, it's gonna be a false start against Catholic Memorial, back him up five. A lot of mental mistakes from the CM team so far today. And both teams, honestly, have had a lot of mental mistakes coming through so far. So, first down and five. I think this is probably gonna be the best game CM has 
seen in, in their division and in state. The two losses, they lost to St. John's Prep later in the year. Their second game of the year, they played a team from Florida and they lost to them. So in the division, this is probably the best competition that CM is going to get all year. And they're just going to let time run down here at the end of the first quarter. We are tied up at Marshfield High School, 14 to 14, and we'll be back for the rest of the coverage here on Marshfield Community Media. MCM coverage of MHS Sports is proudly presented by our silver sponsor, McNamara Financial. When it comes to your money and your financial affairs, let the McNamara family help you. There are four certified financial planner practitioners at McNamara Financial Services. For more information, call 781-834-2010 or visit us at McNamaraFinancial.com. Welcome back to Bridgewater Random High School, the neutral location for this Division II matchup between the Catholic Memorial Knights and the Marshfield Rams, two and three seeds matching up here in the final four. First down and five for the Knights. They're gonna take the snap. He has time, he's gonna look to throw over the middle and it's caught and he's gonna have a wide open touchdown. So the Knights open up this quarter. And that's a big touchdown for Catholic Memorial. They are going to punch that one in. It was decent coverage from the Rams, but an absolute dime thrown by CM's quarterback for a touchdown. And receiver is going to outrun everyone to find the end zone. So CM strikes back early. So they did this formation where they went for two last time. We'll see what they attempt now. So yeah, now the O-line is, is moving back and will attempt the extra point. Snap is down. It is through the uprights and it's good. So 21 to 14 is your score here. Catholic Moral with a one play touchdown on their opening drive of the second quarter. Opening play of the second quarter actually. So they're going to kick this one back off to the Rams. Was by Mentioned this is the number two Sansoni. Catholic Memorial and the number three Marshfield Rams. Both teams are seven and two. Mentioned Catholic Memorial's losses. Marshfield hasn't lost a game since week two in Methuen. They've been on a win streak ever since. And now they are going to take on the best competition they will definitely see all year. Maybe next to St. John's Prep. So they're going to kick this one back off. The winner of this one we mentioned will play King Philip at Gillette Stadium for the state championship. Catholic Memorial, the two-time state championship winners, and they're looking to go back there. And a little, oh, the ball fell off of the tee. It is a windy day out here. Kick this one back off. I think. Something flew other than the ball right there. It's going to be returned by Joseph. Makes a couple of cuts and is going to be tackled crossing that 20 yard line. That T went flying too. The T ended up on Marshfield's 35 yard line. It's Porges on the tackle. The Rams offense will take over. 11.44 remaining in the half. We're early here in the second quarter. Rams offense first down and 10, Moss in the gun. He's got true to his right. He's gonna send Carroll in motion, take the snap, look to throw. He's gonna throw and goes over the head of Couples. So Moss still yet to complete a, a pass today. It's been all true on the ground. 
Second and 10 from the 21 yard line for the Rams. Crowley comes in motion to the left. They're going to take the snap, hand off to True up the middle. True bounces it to the outside, and he's going to be close to that first down marker as he's pushed out of bounds. Pushed out of bounds by number 12, DJ Overall. DJ Overall on the push out out of bounds. Big pickup for True. Third down and three. Third down, third and four. And the Rams offense looking to move the chains here. Third and four. True is going to come in motion. They're going to take the snap. Look to throw, they're gonna throw a screen pass to the outside, which is caught by True. True has space down the left sideline. True gets tackled from behind, but not before he picks up a big gain and a first down. Flip the field, and now they're at the, the Knights 40. 11-22 remaining and counting. In the first half, that is Rams offense starting to move. It's all It's been all tab and True on the ground. That time through the air. It's going to be Moss up the middle by himself. The big quarterback leans forward. He's going to get about two or three on the carry. Bring up second down. Quarterback number 15, Tor Moss, holds on to the ball. Tor Moss finally got his first completion of the game. Able to throw a little screen to True, trying to get him in rhythm. Second down coming up for the Rams. The back's going to come in motion. It's brilliant. They're going to throw a screen. Oh, it's a double pass, but he falls down. He had Bergameska and Couples down there. They tried the double pass, but Brilliant could not find his footing. It's going to bring up a third and long Number for the Rams, that is. Pressure from CM has been good so far today. So the Rams have tried to go more on the ground. It's worked that time they try and go to the air, but Brilliant just couldn't keep his footing. Third down and 14 for the Rams. We're going to go empty set. Crowley comes back and forth in motion. Moss takes a snap. He's looking to throw only a three-man rush. He's going to air it out deep. And, oh, he fell down. They say, okay, there a flag comes in. There we go. It was intended for Carroll. Carroll pretty much got hit before he even touched the ball. So it is going to be pass and interference against the Knights, I believe. We're going to look for the pass call. Defense. It was pass interference defense. against the defense, so that will edge the Rams up a little bit closer. Pass on the fans on the defense, 15 yards, first down. So it will be a 15-yard penalty, which will pick up the first down for the Rams. Rams first and 10 from the 28. First and 10 from the 28 is where Marshfield will, will continue their drive. Three receivers to the right. Moss is gonna send True in motion. No one jumps on the hard count. Marshall reset, Carroll comes in motion, now runs back, they're gonna take the snap. Hand off to True to the outside. True gets a burst of speed, and he's gonna run right up the middle. Another big pickup for the Rams. Rams going quick once again. True picked up six. Second down and four coming up for the Rams. They're going to take the snap. Go to True on the ground once again. True makes the cut to the left sideline. It's going to be close to that first down marker. Might be just short. We'll see where the spot is. Yeah, they're going to bring it third and one for the Rams. Third and one from the. A lot of weapons here. You got to think the Rams are in four down territory in a game like this. Hard count is not going to get anyone with Carroll coming in motion. Rams will reset. Moss is going to take the snap and blown dead. Wow. <laughs> Still makes the catch, but there's a timeout taken. 9-15 remaining in the second quarter. Rams down a touchdown, but knocking on the door of the Knights. 21-14, and we'll be back. MCM coverage of MHS Sports is proudly presented by our silver sponsor, McNamara Financial. When it comes to your money and your financial affairs, let the McNamara family help you. 
There are four certified financial planner practitioners at McNamara Financial Services. For more information, call 781-834-2010 or visit us at McNamaraFinancial.com. Welcome back, everyone, to Bridgewater Random High School for this Final Four matchup. 9-15 remaining in the second quarter. It's third down and one. They're going to take the snap, hand off to True up the middle. True has a gap to the left sideline. Diving for the goal line, waiting for the signal. He hit the pile on, but they say short. They're going to say he was a yard short. Two yards short, that is at the two-yard line. First down picked up. Carson Dutze, first down, first So the Rams goal. first and goal now going quick once again. They're going to hand off to True up the middle. True pushing to the goal line. He's going to be close. Gets a yard. He's going to be down second at the down. one. Second, second goal. down and goal for the Rams. Moss is going to go under center. The QB sneak up the middle. They're looking for where the spot is. Defensive stop. And they are going to call him short of the line to gain. Defensive stop at the It's going to be third Rams down and goal. Down. Rams third have it from inches. the one yard line. Third and inches at this point. They're much closer. Couples are going to come in motion. They're going to hand off to True up the middle. And True couldn't get there once again. We'll see what the spot is. The extra push might have gotten it. They say no, he's short by just a yard. Defensive stop by the uh, Battalion. And the Rams are going to go for it. They're going quick once again. Fourth and goal from the inch yard line for Marshfield. And a flag is going to come in. And I think they jumped off sides. They did jump off sides for Catholic Memorial. Penalties on the defense. Inching a little bit forward. Still fourth down and goal, it was half the distance. Hand off to True, up the middle, diving to the goal line, and he's in! Touchdown, Marshfield! Davin True gets his second of the day! And Marshfield, bearing an extra point by Thomas Kelly, who's been two of two, getting ready to tie this game up in the second quarter. So the Rams extra point unit going to the field. Bergameska is going to be the man to hold. Kelly will attempt his extra point. Kick is up through the uprights and is good. So in the final four matchup here, Bridgewater Radom, we're tied up 21 to 21, 748 remaining in the second quarter. We'll be back after these words from McNamara Financial on Marshfield Community Media. MCM coverage of MHS Sports is proudly presented by our silver sponsor, McNamara Financial. When it comes to your money and your financial affairs, let the McNamara family help you. There are four certified financial planner practitioners at McNamara Financial Services. For more information, call 781-834-2010 or visit us at McNamaraFinancial.com. Final four matchup, Rams just kicked in a Davin True touchdown. They're going to squib this one to the outside. It's going to be fielded by the Knights, and the Rams are going to be all over that one. Not before a decent return for good field position for Catholic Memorial. Goes back her on the return. Tripped up by number 18, Anthony Marginelio. That's an interesting way to pronounce Marangelo, but it was him on the tackle. First down and 10, the Knights are going to take over. They're going to hand it off up the middle. It's blown dead, but the Rams are all over there on the tackle. See what the flag is. It's a false start, pre-snap penalty against Catholic Memorial, back them up five. Basically an illegal motion on the offense. PA's telling us it was an illegal motion. 
A lot of personnel being changed. You can tell the Rams definitely studied what CM is doing. They're switching units in and out. CM doing the same, trying to find the right personnel group to bring out there at all times. First down and 15 after the five-yard penalty. Even set for the Knights. Take the snap, look to throw. Throw a curl to the outside. Pressure came, and it's going to be incomplete. Luke Leary on coverage for the Rams. Bring up second down and 15. Rams defensive unit besides a couple of touchdowns they've let up. Held them to a third and goal, fourth and goal, and then forced a missed field goal. Definitely a great game we have for you today. Big matchup between the two and three seeds. Second and 15, Knights take the snap. Another pre-snap penalty coming in. And it's a false start against Catholic Memorial. CM moving a little bit too early. CM jumping a little bit early and back him up five more. Bring up second down and 20. CM, who's also always a very clean team. A couple mistakes early. Rams have had a couple early as well. You can definitely say nerves are getting to both of these teams right now. 7.36 remaining in the second quarter. A little bit of confusion for the Rams personnel. and timeout, Marshfield. The Rams are going to take a timeout. 7.36 remaining. We're tied 21 apiece here at Bridgewater Raynham. And we'll be back with the rest of the coverage after these messages. MCM coverage of MHS Sports is proudly presented by our silver sponsor, McNamara Financial. When it comes to your money and your financial affairs, let the McNamara family help you. There are four certified financial planner practitioners at McNamara Financial Services. For more information, call 781-834-2010 or visit us at McNamaraFinancial.com. Welcome back, everyone, to Bridgewater Raynham. We're tied up 21-21 in this Final Four matchup between the Knights and the Rams. Second down and 20 after two penalties for the Knights. So they're going to take the snap, handoff up the middle. He's got a big gap. Oh, and a great juke move to break tackles. He's still going to the left sideline. Another big hit stick. About a 12-yard pickup by Sharp. will still bring up a third down and seven. Down. So big third and seven coming up for the Knights. Rams trying to get off the field off the mental mistakes from CM. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. They take the snap. They're looking to throw. Curl to the outside. Great coverage by Marshfield. And Lear. Oh, a flag comes in late. I thought it was phenomenal coverage by Leary. They throw a flag late. Getting back to the Carroll throw earlier where another flag came in late. So we'll see what the call is. We assume it's P.I. against Marshfield. Oh, it was, a, it was a false start against CM, and they're offsetting. So it was a pre-snap penalty. We're going to replay third down. And the CM crowd is telling you how they feel right now about that call. And the P.A. has to let everyone know. That uh, all about sportsmanship here. Third down and seven for the Knights. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. Running back behind the QB. He takes a snap. He's looking to throw. Throw deep over the middle. He's got an open man. Oh, and just over his head. He was open the whole way, unable to get on the same page. We'll bring up fourth down and seven. And the punting unit is running on the field for the Knights. 7-19 remaining in the second quarter. Rams will have a chance to get the ball back, try and punch another one in. J. 
Joseph and Brilliant back to return for the Rams. There's another pre-snap penalty. It was thrown, they're gonna play this one out. Joseph is gonna return this, he goes up the middle. Joseph breaks a couple of tackles. The ball came loose on the Joseph return. There's a flag, we're gonna see who has the ball. And CM has the ball, but there is a penalty down. Still a flag on the play, we'll find out what that is. We'll see what the flag is coming in. This would be a big play from CM, able to get the ball back if they can do it. We're still waiting on exactly what the flag was. Flag's been picked up, it'll be first down. Oh, so they pick up the flag. So no penalty at all, Joseph just fumbled the ball and that's where the play is going to stand. So a big turnover by the Rams special teams unit. And CM will take over on the Marshfield side of the field. Seven oh six remaining. We're tied twenty one apiece here in the final four matchup between CM and Catholic Memorial. CM takes the snap. They're looking to throw another deep to the outside and over the head of his intended receiver. That was Bonjalotti on the coverage. Bring up second down and ten for the Knights from the Marshall forty eight yard line. Seven oh one is what we see on the game clock right now. Tied at 21 apiece. They're going to take the snap, run up the middle, following his blockers, makes a cut. Kelly tries to make a tackle, and the rest of the Rams have to come in, but not after a big push by Catholic Memorial and bring him close to that first down marker. That was sharp on the carry for the Knights. Bring up a third down and one for CM. Third and one, they're gonna go under center once again. You're handed off right up the middle and he's got enough for a first down. And more big pickup. Sanchez on the carry, will pick up the first down for the Knights. And this drive for CM will continue. First down, Knights. First and 10 from the 39, 34. David Sheehan on the stop for that Rams D-line. First down and 10, take the snap. They're looking to throw. Throw it, curl to the outside, and it's broken up by Marshfield. Incomplete. Great coverage by Gio Joseph. Foglis, the intended receiver. Leary brought in some pressure from the edge. Joseph was on the coverage. Or sorry, that was Leary on the coverage, excuse me. And Great breakup by Leary once again. Second down and 10 for the Knights. They're coming out of the gun. Two receivers to the right, two to the left, back to the left. They take the snap and another pre-snap penalty going against Catholic Memorial. And their coaches are screaming right now at their offense. Too many penalties for CM. Such a clean team, been dominant all year in their conference. A lot of mental mistakes early. Bring up a second down and 15. Tied at 21 apiece, 6.05 remaining in the first half. We're in the second quarter here at Bridgewater Raynham. Even set out of the gun once again. They're going to take the snap, throw across the middle of it. Oh, it intercepted. Leach got an interception, and Marshfield gets a turnover, and they're going to take over. What a play by the Marshfield defense. Swing the momentum back. Under six minutes, the Marshfield offense will take over just across that 35 yard line from the 36. And it was actually Bonjalotti on the interception. From the 36 yard line. 
And Marshfield's offense now has a chance to wind down some time here with 5.57 remaining. Moss in the gun, he's got True as the back. Hand off to True up the middle, who tries to dive forward, not able to get that much of a gain. No gain on that one, maybe half a yard. Taken down by number five, Will Quad. So on the tackle for the Knights, second down and 10. Couples in the backfield there with True, they're gonna take the snap. Play action, they're gonna roll out. Moss throws it to Couples who makes the catch. Couples stays on his feet and makes another cut to the sideline after breaking a tackle. It's a pickup of about four for Couples, bring up a third down and six or seven. Stop by number 88, G.J. Rayner, J.D. Rayner. Rayner on the tackle for the Knights. 5.27 with a stopped clock here in the second quarter. Three receivers to the left. The back true is to the left as well of Moss. Carroll goes in motion to the outside, now runs back. Moss takes the snap, he's looking to throw. He's gonna throw to True in the backfield and it just goes over his head. And coach Chris Aruka is not happy with that one. Bring up a fourth down and seven and the Rams are gonna punt this one away. After a quick three and out, give the ball back to the Knights. Snap is good. Decent kick, gets the height. And take a decent bounce for the Rams. Still decent field position for the Knights. They're gonna take over first down and 10 with 5.13 remaining, excuse me. One down to the 37 yard line. Goes to the 37. CM's own 37, that is. That's where they will take over. First and 10 from the 37. Both these teams score a lot of points. In the playoff, Marshfield averages 53 points a game. CM in the playoffs averaging 45 points per game. Both these teams upping their scoring average from the regular season. First and 10, they're gonna run up the middle. Another big gap opens up, and he's got space to the left side. Joseph, the man back to stop him. Joseph gets blocked and then eventually he's going to take him out of bounds, but a great run by Sharp. And CM's offense starting to respond and move now. First down, the Knights. Clock stops as well for the Knights, 5.03. It's what we see on the clock, first down and 10. go under center in the bunch formation once again take the snap handoff up the middle and the Rams the line is all over it tackle for loss by the Rams D line will bring up a second down and 14 for the Knights Brown on the carry for the Knights Ekstrom was in there to make the first point of contact for the Rams this defensive line balled out so far today that CM style, they like to get in tight, run the ball, use their big old line. The Rams defense has responded so far. 4.30 and counting here in the second quarter. Spotted a yard up, so second down and 13. CM takes the snap, they're looking to throw, he has time. He's gonna roll out to the right where he has green grass. And he's gonna just throw this one out of bounds. Great coverage by the Marshfield secondary, Joseph back there along with the whole secondary Mary Jello Divine. Great job holding on to their assignments. 413 is what we see on the clock at stop. Third and 13 coming up for the Knights in Marshfield territory. And we're gonna have a whistle blown and tie out timeout. 21 to 21 is your score with 413 remaining in the first half and we will be back here on Marshfield Community Media. MCM coverage of MHS Sports is proudly presented by our silver sponsor, McNamara Financial. When it comes to your money and your financial affairs, let the McNamara family help you. There are four certified financial planner practitioners at McNamara Financial Services. 
For more information, call 781-834-2010 or visit us at McNamaraFinancial.com. Excuse me, to Bridgewater Raynham as Catholic Memorial and Marshall are facing up in the final four. Third and 13 coming up for CM. They're going to take the snap, throw deep to the end zone, and it's caught. Touchdown, CM. It was Keebler on the reception. He missed a touchdown earlier, able to reel it in this time. And the Knights are going to take their first lead of the game. Not first lead, excuse me, they led 14 to 7 earlier. First lead since the first quarter, I believe. So they're going to attempt the extra point. And the snap is botched and another missed extra point by the Knights. It's their second missed one of the day, so it'll be 27 to 21 with 406 remaining. So the Knights are going to kick this one back off to the Rams with 4.06 remaining. CM with a six point lead. The number two seed versus the number three seed Rams, both teams seven and two. A rematch of 2021, but a closer game than the 2021 game was, as CM ended up winning 41 to nothing. And they are expected to do the same today. As they set up the kick on the tee. CM advertised this one as the game before the game. As the Knights are, are no short of, of going to Gillette Stadium to play in that state championship game as the ball falls off the tee. So we're going to reset and they're going to have someone hold it for the kicker. Oh, okay. No, they're just going to reset it. <laughs> A little confusion on what side he has to hold it from, so they will kick it off. Gonna be fielded by the Rams down that left sideline and just gonna run out of bounds. And the Rams offense with 402 remaining will try and punch another one in here at BR down six. Who's leech on the return? The Rams offense struggled a little bit today. Geo Joseph brought back a touchdown on the opening kickoff. And from there, the Rams were scored twice on offense, both by Davin True, who has been great on the ground so far today. First down and 10, the Rams will take over. Carroll comes in motion to the left, now runs back. Take a snap, hand off to True up the middle, who dives forward, gets a gain of about four on that. So second down and six coming up for the Rams. Brutus on the stop for the Knights. Two back set for the Rams. Crowley comes in motion to the right. They're going to take the snap. Moss is going to keep it himself to the right outside. Lowers his shoulder to pick up a first down. And the Rams offense crosses the 50-yard line to the CM 49, and they pick up a first down to continue the drive. First down, Rams. Marshfield going quick once again. Couples going back and forth in motion. Moss looking to throw. Pressure's coming. He has to air this one out. And they say incomplete. Almost intercepted. Looks like he was looking for couples, but it hit the ground before. Second down and 10. Perkins on the coverage for CM. Second and 10. Second and 10 from the 49. 
Crowley coming in motion to the right. They're going to take the snap, hand off to True up the middle, and he gets stopped right when he opens up that cap to the second line of defense. 4CM pickup of about, about three will be a third down and seven for the Rams. Rams going with a big set. And a timeout will be taken. CM leads by six, 27 to 21, 254 remaining in the first half. And we will be back. MCM coverage of MHS Sports is proudly presented by our silver sponsor, McNamara Financial. When it comes to your money and your financial affairs, let the McNamara family help you. There are four certified financial planner practitioners at McNamara Financial Services. For more information, call 781-834-2010 or visit us at McNamaraFinancial.com. Welcome back to BR. Third down and seven for the Rams, down six. They're gonna take the snap, play action. Moss is gonna throw, and it's caught by Crowley. Crowley to the 25, and he's gonna be tackled right at that 23 yard line, and the Rams pick up a first down. Overall on the tackle for the Knights. Rams going quick, no huddle offense. So we're down to two minutes and some change remaining, 236. Moss sends Crowley in motion. He's gonna take the snap, hand off to True through the left side of that O line and he is lit up and his helmet pops off. Carried by number six, True. So True's gonna have to come off to the sideline. So as a rule in high school, helmet pops off. You need to take a play. So the Rams will bring in an extra receiver. They're gonna go empty set. Brilliant comes in. True picked up about two. Second down and eight coming up for the Rams. Mass takes the snap. He's looking to throw. He's gonna to throw to the corner and oh, just off the hands of its intended receiver. James Brilliant was the intended receiver and incomplete. Third and seven or eight coming up for the Rams. 2.02 remaining in the first half. Third down and seven. The Rams just converted on third down on their last down in distance. See if they can do it again. Carroll running back and forth in motion. Moss takes the snap. He's gonna throw the screen to Brilliant. Brilliant makes the cut and breaks the tackle. Brilliant trying to get to the sticks, diving forward. We'll see where the spot is. Didn't give him much of a spot on that one. A flag came in. It's a face mask against Catholic Memorial. Face mask on the defense. Believe that is an automatic first down for the Rams. So true back in the game now as
little confusion here on the field. We're trying to see where they're going to spot it. From my note, I thought this was a first down that was going to be picked up. Okay, so now they're going to move the chain. I thought they might replay third. No, they end up moving the chains. So the Rams will pick up a first down with a minute 53 remaining in the half. Pick up a first down and goal for Marshfield. First and goal. Okay, so first down. Give me first and 10 from the 11. And 10, so they do call it down to go. Handoff goes to Carroll to the left side. Carroll's gonna get close to that goal line, tripped up just by the five yard line. Bring up a second down and goal for the Rams. Push out of bounds by number seven, Thomas Kiefler. Second down, second and one. Actually just short of the stick, so second and one. Pretty much goal to go here for the Rams. Take the snap, hand off to True up the middle. True to the end zone. Touchdown, Marshfield. Devin True with his third touchdown of the game. And we're tied up 27 to 27 with a minute 42 remaining in the half. True has been an offensive weapon for the Rams all year. Punches in another one, his third of the day. And Carroll will now go to attempt the extra point with Bergameska as the man to hold. Snap to Bergameska, Kelly's kick through the uprights and good, and Marshfield regains the lead. The score of 28 to 27, 142 remaining in the first half. And we will be back for the rest of the coverage here on Marshfield Community Media. MCM coverage of MHS Sports is proudly presented by our silver sponsor, McNamara Financial. When it comes to your money and your financial affairs, let the McNamara family help you. There are four certified financial planner practitioners at McNamara Financial Services. For more information, call 781-834-2010 or visit us at McNamaraFinancial.com. Welcome back to BR. The Rams are going to kick this one back off to the Knights with a one-point lead. It's going to be returned to about the 40 by the Knights. And with a minute 36, CM will try and punch one in before the end of the half. First and ten, the Knights are going to hand it off up the middle. Pick up a gain of about five in the Rams' D-line. Whole swarm of them comes in. Give him an extra yard on that. Second down and four. It was a six-yard run. Leach comes in to make the tackle first. Clock is running. Take the snap on a second and four. They're going to look to throw. Aaron out over the middle. Did he make the catch? They say no. It hit the ground incomplete. So that will stop the clock and bring up a third down and four for CM with a minute and three seconds remaining. Third down. Third down and four, Marshfield crowd getting into it now. Both crowds are. They're gonna go run up the middle and he's gonna have enough yardage for a first down. And the Knights will move the chains. Clock is gonna continue to run, we're at 55. Ekstrom on the tackle for the Rams, first down and 10 for the Knights.
take the snap. They're going to look to throw. Throw deep, and it falls incomplete. Coverage from the Rams. Coach Aruga fired up on the sideline. It will fall incomplete. 33 seconds and a second down and 10 coming up for the Knights. We got fired up crowds here all over Bridgewater Radom. Both fans of teams coming here to support the number two and three team. Both phenomenal teams this year, evenly matched. Second down and 10, they're gonna take the snap, look to throw, throw a screen to the running back. And Leach is gonna make the tackle. Charlie Leach able to make the tackle in open field by himself. And clock is still running for the Knights. We're down to 15. It was a no gain. Actually, they lost a yard. So third down and 11 is what we're told by the PA. Six, five seconds remaining. The Knights need to hurry. They're going to fake a spike. They'll look to throw to the outside. And he's sacked. Quarterback sacked by both Nate Russell and John McAlpine. And a flag is going to come in late. There's a flag on the play, folks. Flag on the play. Hold on. Flag is going to come in late. I believe that was for one of the Marshfield defensive linemen maybe saying something after the play. The clock wound down to zero. Folks, let's hold on a second here. And that is going to do it for the half. The penalty came after. So at the end of the first half, the Marshfield Rams lead the Catholic Memorial Knights 28 to 27. We will be back for second coverage half here at Marshfield Community Media. Tough end for the half for both teams, getting a little ugly here, but we will be back with second half coverage. Thank you for joining us and we'll be back. MCM coverage of MHS Sports is proudly presented by our silver sponsor, McNamara Financial. When it comes to your money and your financial affairs, let the McNamara family help you. There are four certified financial planner practitioners at McNamara Financial Services. For more information, call 781-834-2010 or visit us at McNamaraFinancial.com. Hello everyone and thanks for watching Marshfield Community Media. Tuesday, November 28th is Giving Tuesday and MCM is asking for your support this holiday season. Your donation will enable us to continue to produce high quality content for the Marshfield community, such as news, sports, and government meetings. MCM is a 501c3 nonprofit organization whose mission is to connect the community through media. Much of our funding comes from fees paid by cable subscriptions in the town of Marshfield. Trending declines in cable subscriptions has resulted in decline from our main funding source. Please support MCM on Giving Tuesday and throughout this holiday season. Scan the QR code on the screen so you can help us continue to provide great content such as MHS Athletics, Marshfield Community News, and gavel to gavel coverage of government meetings. Thank you for your support and have a wonderful holiday season. Welcome back everyone to Bridgewater Raynham High School, the neutral location between the Final Four matchup between the Catholic Memorial Knights and the Marshfield Rams. Rams kicking this one back off to the Knights who will start the opening drive of the second half on offense. It's fielded by the Knights and Rams are all over that one. Tackled them at the 35 yard line and the Rams offense will take over. 
Uh, real quick, we'd like to apologize for MCM. If you hear any of the extra that's happening here up on the press box, we're going to do our best to handle that as well as the PA. Uh, both these teams are phenomenal this year. They make it the Final Four, and we, uh, we just want to appreciate both teams here at all times. So here we go. First and ten, the Knights are going to take over. Run up the middle. Big gap opens up and breaking tackles. Still on his feet, still pushing forward. It's going to be good for big game, close to that first down marker. They are going to say move the chain, so the Knights on the ground early picking up the first down. Sharp on the carry, first down. Big first down picked up by the Knights. Knights have been phenomenal on offense all year, averaging 45 points per game. And they upped that in their playoff play action. They're going to throw a curl to the outside. Big cut for the receiver. Oh, he had turning left and right. And a tackle is made by the Rams. Flag comes in late. That was Mapper on the reception for the Knights. Flag comes in. Had a lot of penalties being thrown back and forth today on both teams. CM has gotten the, the big brute. A lot of the penalty is a lot of pre-snap and another one coming against CM here, a holding penalty. So we're going to replay first down. They're going to back him up 10. So first and 20 coming for the Knights offense. Knights average 45 or 35 this season, excuse me, per game. In the playoffs, they've upped that to 45. So the Knights a very dominant offense. They got some of the best players around Massachusetts playing for this team. Classic private versus public matchup between the two and three seeds. First down and 10, they're gonna take the snap, play action, rolling out to the right, still has time. And now he's gonna throw it deep and it's caught by a CM receiver and he's pushed out of bounds. Caught over Bongelotti and Joseph. Picks up a first down, a flag comes in late. So, looks like they're backing up. It looks like it's going to be another penalty against CM. And the CM passionate. Illegal man downfield, so that'll back him up. It's a tough break from Catholic Memorial. Every big play they have gets called back. <laughs> also apologize for the wind that's going on through the mic right now. It's quite windy up here in the press box on a little chilly Saturday afternoon. We will replay the Take the snap, they're rolling out to the right once again, looking for a receiver downfield. Oh, and what a hit by Tommy Kelly to bring up the sack. Tommy Kelly lays down a big hit stick. Both these teams playing hard all game. A lot of big hits laying lay it out, and Tommy Kelly lays another one here for the Ram defense. They replayed first down, so this is second down and long now. Still second and 20 as backed him up a little bit, but they gave him the spot earlier on the penalty with yardage. So second down and long. Knights come out in trips left. One receiver, bottom of your screen on the right. Backs to the right of the quarterback. That is sharp. CM calls an audible at the line. They take the snap. Looking to throw, throw a curl to the outside, and it's dropped by the receiver. And another flag is going to come in. I believe this one's going to go against the Rams. Okay, so no penalty coming in. It's a sideline infraction. So it'll still be third down. Third 
third down and it feels like a country mile for the Knights coming up here. Bridgewater Random High School. Once again, I want to thank you for joining us on Marshfield Community Media as we have covered the entire Marshfield playoff run and we continue and plan to continue to do it. Third and 20. Take the snap, looking to throw. He's going to roll out to the left now. Throw deep down the field. Going to throw it out of bounds. Will fall incomplete. And the Rams defense holds strong on the opening drive of the second half from Catholic Memorial. And they are going to punt this one away with fourth and long. Great job by that Rams right side of the secondary. Got 9.34 here in the third. And the Rams are starting to show a little bit of confidence going into halftime. All year, the Rams have been a second half team. But you gotta remember last time these guys matched up in 2021, it was a 21 point third quarter from the Knights. This one's gonna be fielded at the 41 yard line of Marshfield. And that's where the Rams offense will take over. Marshfield touchdowns have been scored. Three are by Davin True. And the other one was a Giovanni Joseph kickoff return for a touchdown to start the game. And we've had a big, big back and forth between both of these teams so far. Offenses have been clicking. Rams started off a little slow. I've been able to get on their, on their game as we get later. First down and 10 from the 41. Hand off to True behind that right side of the O-line and big hit laid down by CM. True picked up about three and we'll bring up a second down for the Rams. Second down and so it was Lamb on the tackle for the Knights. Couples comes in motion. They're handed off to Couples on the jet sweep. Couple makes the cut. Oh, Nick Couples has room and then he's pushed out of bounds, but not before a first down is picked up. Nick Couples, the solo captain for this Marshfield team. Leading his guys by example. And it's a first down for Marshfield. Carroll's going to come in motion off the handoff, and he's going to be tackled in the backfield. Good pursuit from the CM defensive line. And Carroll had nowhere to go. It's going to be a tackle for loss. That's Roquad on the tackle. Second and long coming up. They're going to go to Couples. No, play action. Now they're going to throw to the end zone. And just over the hands of his intended receiver. Going to fall incomplete. No flags on the play. Perkins on the coverage for the Knights. Bring up a third and long for the Rams. Third and 13. Carroll, the intended receiver, once again. Mainly been the number one option for this team. He had the fourth fastest peak acceleration last week. Which we have all coverage on that on Marshfield Community Media Socials. Third down and long. Hard count is not going to fool anyone. True's going to line up to the left of Moss. Three receivers to the right. Moss is going to take the snap, look to throw, throw over the middle, just through the hands of his receiver. And a flag is going to come in again. Brilliant was the intended receiver. Another PI is going to come in. There's been a lot of PI in the secondary so far today. So it was holding against the secondary of Catholic Memorial. Gonna see where the spot is. They're gonna be close to the six. 825 on the clock here. Rams lead by 128 to 27 in the third quarter. So first down is not going to be picked up. We're gonna have third and two or three for the Rams, and whistles are being blown. Still trying to figure out the spot. So they couldn't get the spot just right. 
So now we'll play ball. Third down, three receivers to the right. Moss is going to take the snap, looking to throw. Throw over the middle, incomplete. And another flag is going to come in on the secondary of Catholic Memorial. Brilliant, the intended receiver. And the Catholic Memorial faithful right now are not happy with that call. It's a holding against CM once again. And that will pick up a first down. Again, we are all about sportsmanship here at Marshfield Community Media, so we uh, apologize if you're hearing any extra noise right now. PA has told them a couple times, but we're just here to call the game, folks. Be neutral both sides. Obviously, this is a Marshfield broadcast. Rooting for Marshfield to win, but these are both phenomenal teams. CM, two-time champion the last two years. Cannot fault them at all. Got everyone to play a good game here. First down and 10 picked up by the Rams. Hard count. No one's going to jump as True went in motion to the right. Now the Rams will reset with trips to the right. Crowley looking for the play. And I think the Rams took too long. Going to be a delay of game. No, Coach Chris Aruka got a timeout. So with 8.19 remaining in the third quarter, Rams lead by one, 28 to 27. We'll be back here on Marshfield Community Media. MCM coverage of MHS Sports is proudly presented by our silver sponsor, McNamara Financial. When it comes to your money and your financial affairs, let the McNamara family help you. There are four certified financial planner practitioners at McNamara Financial Services. For more information, call 781-834-2010 or visit us at McNamaraFinancial.com. Welcome back to Bridgewater Raynham High School on the field of the neutral location. Rams have a first, or a, yeah, first down to 10, excuse me. They're gonna run up the middle with True. And True's gonna barrel forward for a big seven yard carry, bring up second down and three for the Rams. Rams going hurry up once again. Take the snap, hand off to True once again up the middle and a big hit by that CM defensive line. Well, quad once again. So there was about no gain on that one. Third and three now for Marshfield in the red zone. Couples is going to come in motion. They're going to hand it off to True up the middle who dives forward. And it looks like the spot he's going to have enough for a first down. Waiting on the spot. And might be just inches here is going to be the difference between a first down or not for the Rams. So the chains are coming in from the officials and we're going to get a measurement here. See if True fell forward enough to pick up the first down for the Rams. 7-18 remaining in the third quarter. We apologize once again for the wind. It is it is very windy up here on the on the press box of, of BR. Had a couple people tell me at halftime the wind is there and the spot is in and the Rams picked up a first down off the measurement. So the Rams will have a first and goal from the eight yard line. Rams trying to extend their one point lead. Try to find the end zone with the end zone magnet. Dab and Drew found it all year. Got to be close to the record at this point, you have to think. As they're going to hand this one out wide to Couples down the right side. He makes a cut up field. And Couples with a good gain of yardage, getting down to about the four. Four yard pickup for the Rams. Bring up second down and goal. Rams going quick once again. True is behind Mass Couples in motion. They're going to toss to True, running through the right side, and he is lit up 
by that defensive line, had nowhere to go. Bring up a third down and goal once again from the four for the Rams. Colin Murphy with a big hit for the Catholic Memorial Knights. Bring up a third down and goal. Clock is ticking, 6.30 remaining in the third. Moss is going to take the snap. He's going to hand it off to Couples on the outside and the defensive line is all over that one. Roquan once again. Looks like the field goal unit is going to run onto the field for the Rams. Fourth and goal from the eight, so the Rams are back where they started on this first and goal. And Marshfield kickers have had a leg all year. This is Chrysopolis running on to attempt the field goal. Snap is down, the kick is up. Through the uprights and good. So Marshfield takes an extended lead. They make it a four point lead. 27 to 31 is your score with 544 remaining in the third quarter. We'll be back for the rest of the coverage here on Marshfield Community Media. Welcome back to Bridgewater Raynham as Thomas Kelly is going to kick this one off back to the Knights of Catholic Memorial. Big return. He's going to make a cut towards the 30. And the Rams are all over that one. CM wants a horse collar, but I don't think there was enough there. Tackled him by the front of the jersey. No flag on the plate. Lemire on the tackle. Big special teams player for the Rams all year. Had a great hit versus Hingham. Again, check out our socials at Marshall Community Media, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, all the coverage there. We had a great video made by a lot of the team at MCM with me and Heather Allen. And the Knights are going to take over first down and 10 after the return right up the middle. He's going to fall forward. Oh, the ball popped out. The ball popped loose. We're waiting for the call. They say, they say Marshfield ball. So all for the fumble, the Rams get their second turnover of the game. We fixed, CM fixed that, he's down, we're waiting on the call. And they say Marshfield ball is the official call. The Rams get their second turnover of the game. Brady Boney on the recoverage. And Marshfield is going to have first down with great field position. And the offense has a chance to extend their lead. First down and 10, the Rams offensive unit after kicking a field goal from Dr Drosopoulos will take over after the turnover. Two receivers on the left. One high to the right, Couples comes in motion. Play action, Moss takes a snap, throw it in the end zone, and it's, oh, just through the hands of Charlie Carroll, incomplete. That's been the bread and butter of the Rams all day, hitting those seam routes right up the middle. Carroll unable to haul that one in, great throw by Moss to be able to put it in. Got him right in the numbers there, just unable to hold on. Cold weather might be affecting the hands of the players today. Marshfield's had a couple of drops, CM a couple as well. That's playoff football for you. The environment is gonna be what it is. Second down and 10 for the Rams. Crowley comes in motion, now runs back. Take the snap handoff to True up the middle. True makes a big cut and falls forward for a gain of five. We'll bring up third and five for the Rams. Injured CM player has to run off to the side. They're gonna have to make a sub. Third and five, they're gonna hand off to Drew once again. 
True banging on bodies, and he's not able to pick up the first down yardage, bring a fourth and short. Fourth and about two for the Rams to pick up the first down. Offense is going to stay on the field. 4.35 remaining in the third quarter. Rams with a four point lead and the ball. Fourth down and two. Couples running back and forth in motion. They're gonna hand to True up the middle. True falling forward and he's gonna have the yardage for a first down. Davin True keeps his legs moving and the Rams will continue their drive up four. Overall on the tackle for the Knights, but a big part of this defense unable to get through before he reaches the first down marker. First and 10, play action, Mass looking to throw. He's gonna throw it in the end zone. And oh, I think that was caught. I think that was caught by Marshfield. Looking for the call. They say a fly is on the play. I think they called it a touchdown. If so, I believe that was Charlie Carroll who reeled it in. Two flags down, we'll see what it is. Still waiting on signal here for from the officials. So holding against Marshfield is the first. Pass interference, so they are going to offset. So we're gonna replay first down. That would have been a massive catch from the Rams in a big play. Especially late in the third quarter here. 4.05 remaining in the third. Marshfield goes three receivers to the right. True is lined up to the right of Moss. Carroll's gonna come in motion. They're gonna hand off to True who follows the left side of his O-line, follows his blockers. He keeps his legs moving for a couple extra yards. Pickup of seven for Davin True. Bring up a second down and three. Red by number 51. Second down. Rams continue to move. Couples comes in motion to the right. They're going to throw over the middle. And that one is caught. Close to the goal line. It's going to be a first down picked up. Charlie Carroll on the reception. Great little RPO or play action. Set from the Rams is going to get them in down to goal distance. First and goal, a couple whistles being blown. So they just have to get the spot right on the field, is what it looks like. Man comes in motion. They're going to throw to the open man. That's brilliant to the end zone. Touchdown, Marshfield. James, brilliant, punches it in, and the Rams extend their lead even further. 37 to 27, the Rams have a 10 point lead. And we have caught ourselves a game here at Bridgewater Raynham. Bergamesk gets to hold the extra point. Kelly to kick it. Snap goes a little high. Kelly still able to handle it. Through the uprights and good. So Marshfield now has an 11 point lead. 38 to 27. 306 remaining in the third quarter. We'll be back here on Marshfield Community Media. Bridgewater, Raynham. Kick is going to go out of bounds for Tommy Kelly. 
And the Knights will take over with better field position. Wind is taking a lot of kicks today. The Rams lead by 11, 38 to 27, 306 remaining in the third quarter, that is. So they're gonna spot it at the 35. Crowd over here at CM just got a little bit quiet off of that last touchdown, I gotta say. First down and 10, the Knights are gonna try and bounce back. If you're the Rams, you gotta stay on the gas pedal the whole time. The CM offense is no joke. They're gonna take the snap, hand it up, up the middle. And the Rams defensive line is there to make the tackle along with Kelly and Boney who came in. Sharp on the run, picked up about six, bring up a second down and four. We have an injury timeout as Tommy Kelly got banged up a little bit. So we'll see what the sub to be made is. I believe that's Marangello that came on the field. Second down and four, hand off up the middle and he's got first down and more. Right at that 50 yard line. CM starting to move the chains here late in the third. Boney on the tackle for the Rams. First point of contact. Spotted just at the 50 yard line. First down and 10. Even receiver set on the left and right. Back is to the right. They're gonna take the snap. They're gonna look to throw. Has a ton of time. Looking to load something up. He doesn't roll into the sideline. He's gonna throw. And they say incomplete. He did not keep his feet in bounds. So an incomplete pass from CM will bring up a second down and 10. Joseph and Kelly in the coverage. Good to see Kelly back in the game. They're getting banged up earlier in the drive. Second down and 10. Two eleven clock is stopped here at BR. Massive game here in the final four, division two. The winner between the Rams and the Knights will take on King Philip at Gillette Stadium for the state championship. A lot on the line here for both teams. Second and 10. Take the snap, they're gonna throw a curl to the outside and a broken tackle by the Rams defense. And a first down is gonna be picked up by Catholic Memorial. That was George Mapper on the catch. Pick up a first down for Catholic Memorial. Divine pushes him out of bounds, first down picked up. So CM starting to drive a little bit here. Even receiver set once again on each side. They're gonna take the snap, look to throw. He's gonna air it out to the right side. It's caught by the running back. It makes a cut up field and Bongelotti and Joseph are gonna to have to combine to make the tackle. That was an angry run by Sharp. And CM is starting to push a little bit now. And a Ram is injured on the field. Official timeout. Gonna have an injury timeout. So quick little injury timeout. They're going to attend. I, I think that's John McAlpine who went down, so we hope John is okay. Massive piece of this defense. Great kid all around. 147 remaining in the third quarter. CM is taking a snap, but blown dead. And Marshfield has to take a timeout for too many men on the field. Minute 45 remaining in the third. Marshfield by 11. We'll be back with the rest of the coverage here on Marshfield Community Media. MCM coverage of MHS Sports is proudly presented by our silver sponsor, McNamara Financial. When it comes to your money and your financial affairs, let the McNamara family help you. There are four certified financial planner practitioners at McNamara Financial Services. For more information, call 781-834-2010 or visit us at McNamaraFinancial.com.
Welcome back to Bridgewater Raynham. First down and 10 for the Knights. Take the snap pitch to the outside, running up the middle, still breaking tackles and moving forward. And a big run by CM. I believe that was Sanchez. Was Sanchez on the carry? Clock still ticking, a minute 30, second down. About four coming up for CM. Kelly and Leach on the tackle. They're gonna run up the middle once again. And another big pickup by Sanchez, getting close to that first down marker. Gonna be just short on third down. Down to 105 left in the third quarter. They're going quick. They're gonna run up the middle to the goal line. Touchdown Catholic Memorial. And they're gonna cut the lead. Zach Brown, who had the two-point conversion earlier in the game, now picks up a touchdown, cuts the lead down to five. And now CM will see what they choose to do. They've gone for two earlier today to make up for the two extra points they've missed. They're gonna go for two up the middle once again, and the Marshall defense is there to stop them short. So the two-point conversion is no good. Rams still lead by five with 58 seconds left. We're gonna keep you here on Marshall Community Media as we only have 50 seconds, 58 seconds that is, left in the half. Very, very close game here for the semifinal. Catholic Memorial looking to go on their three-peat. They've won the last two years. It's a rematch from 2021 where the Knights were able to defeat the Rams in Brockton. And that was a great Rams team. A lot of good pieces on that defense and offense, mind you. A lot of great kids. It was an interesting year for the Rams. Another one where they started off slow in Catholic Memorial. They went down to Lincoln Sudbury in 2021 until Brady Nicholson had an interception for a pick six, took it to the house. Big game changing play in that one. A lot of great plays made by that defense and offense in that game. Schultz had a long touchdown back to 2023 these teams are definitely evenly matched 38 to 33 as the Knights are gonna kick this one back off it's fielded by true who breaks a couple of tackles and he's gonna go down just short of that 30 yard line and the Rams offense is gonna take over with now 50 seconds remaining Five point lead, 38 to 33. Final four game in division two. The winner of this will take on King Philip at Gillette Stadium for the state championship. And if the Rams make it, you better believe we're gonna be there on Marshfield Community Media without a doubt, be there no matter what. Rams are gonna take over. First down and 10 from the 29 yard line. Couples going back and forth in motion. Hand off to True up the middle. The D line is gonna make a big stop. True falls forward for a couple of extra yards. Brutus in on the tackle for the Knights. Gain of about four, second and six for the Rams. You can hear the crowd starting to get into it. They need a big stop. 24 seconds and counting. Remaining in the third quarter, trips receivers to the left, empty backfield. They're gonna throw the screen to the outside, it is caught, and CM is all over that one. It's gonna be a tackle for a loss. Only about a yard loss, if that. Bergamesca on the reception for the Rams. And we'll be back at the end of the third quarter here. We have 38 to 33. We'll be back with the Rams third down play in the start of the fourth quarter here on Marshfield Community Media. We'll be back. Don't go anywhere. MCM coverage of MHS Sports is proudly presented by our silver sponsor, McNamara Financial. When it comes to your money and your financial affairs, let the McNamara family help you. There are four certified financial planner practitioners at McNamara Financial Services. For more information, call 781-834-2010 or visit us at McNamaraFinancial.com.
Twelve more minutes left of football. Score. Rams 78, Knights 33. coming off the field. We wish him the best. Hope he's okay and can come back into this game. He's starting to run on his own power and that's what you love to see. Back on his own feet. Looks like he's already looking to get back into the game. These kids are playing their hearts out today on both sides. Can't deny it. First down and 10 for the Rams. Take the snap. Hand off to Carroll on the left side. Carroll has blocking and he's going to run out of bounds. After about a five yard pickup, we'll see the spot. Charlie Carroll on the carry. Charlie Carroll making big plays here today. Harity on the tackle for the Knights. Spot him just a yard shorter, so it's a second down here. Throw across, and it's caught. It was bobbed a little bit. Clock is going to run. It's going to bring up a third down and about two or three for the Rams. We're trying to keep the ball, keep that drive alive. Third and two for the Rams. Man comes in motion to the right. They're gonna hand it off to Couples. Couples up the middle, and he has it up for a Marshfield first down. The chains are moving. Rams six, they have them in. Good personnel right now. They're gonna go quick as they always do. Running to the line, True's gonna come out. They're gonna bring their five wide receiver set. Whistles are being blown. And another injured Knight is gonna come out going to be substituted I believe that is Brutus who just came out who's been a massive part of this defense phenomenal player first and 10 for the Rams on the fresh set of downs they got a little bit of a jump didn't get the call so Marshfield calling an audible now at the line 1040 and counting remaining in the ball game Couples comes in motion to the right, play action. Moss looking to throw to the end zone. Oh, touchdown, Brady Crowley. Oh my God, what a catch. A flag is thrown, but Brady Crowley, Reberg Meskin, excuse me, with an acrobatic catch. We'll see what the flag is and it's gonna be brought back. And it will be brought back. A tough break for the Rams. A legal man downfield is the call, but what a grab by Bergamesca. So we're going to back it up. Five yards, third and 15. We'll replay, replay third. The Rams need to get a little bit further to probably get into Shoplist's range. The wind is to Marshfield's back right now. Good thing to note as the wind could carry this ball a little bit further. We'll see what the call ends up getting if it's four down territory. First and 15, I thought that was a little off on a down marker, but didn't want to get it wrong. It is a first down, so we'll replay first. 10.30 clock is stopped. Fourth quarter action. We're going no back for the Rams. Two receivers to the right. And timeout time taken. Out, time out, nice. And Catholic Memorial is going to take a timeout with 10.30 remaining. The Rams lead the Knights 38 to 34. We're due for a photo finish here at Bridgewater Raynham. And we'll be right back for the rest of the coverage on Marshfield Community Media.
MCM coverage of MHS Sports is proudly presented by our silver sponsor, McNamara Financial. When it comes to your money and your financial affairs, let the McNamara family help you. There are four certified financial planner practitioners at McNamara Financial Services. For more information, call 781-834-2010 or visit us at McNamaraFinancial.com. Welcome back after the timeout from Bridgewater Random. First down and 15, 10 30 remaining in the fourth. Take the snap, play action. Moss is going to throw out to True, who catches it and picks up a first down for the Rams. Davin True, old reliable for the Rams, picks up a first down. Jaden Johnson is going to push him out of bounds for the Knights. Take the snap. It's gonna be true. No, couples, excuse me, running to that right sideline. Not sure you picked up anything the there. That first by number 24, Chris Sanchez. Sanchez on second the tackle, down, playing defense nine. as well. Crowley and True are gonna come out. Charlie Leach is gonna check in for a second. We're under 10 minutes remaining here in the ball game. Rams by five. Second down and nine. Moss, empty backfield, sends a man in motion to the right, play action, throw over the middle, it's caught! Touchdown, Marshfield! James, brilliant! Scores and the Rams are gonna extend their lead! What a set from the Rams, confusion to the right, and brilliant uses his speed to run a slant, and Marshfield takes a 44 to 33 lead! So Marshfield will now run on to attempt the extra point. Bergamesca on the hold. Kelly's kick through the uprights and is good. With 9.46 remaining, the Marshfield Rams lead 45 to 33. We're getting close here in the ball game. Fourth quarter action will continue here on Marshfield Community Media. We'll be back. MCM coverage of MHS Sports is proudly presented by our silver sponsor, McNamara Financial. When it comes to your money and your financial affairs, let the McNamara family help you. There are four certified financial planner practitioners at McNamara Financial Services. For more information, call 781-834-2010 or visit us at McNamaraFinancial.com. Welcome back everyone to Bridgewater Raynham as we have a great conclusion here for you on Marshfield Community Media. Ball is gonna bounce into the end zone off of the Kelly kick. And the Rams will go on defense. The Knights will try and take over on offense. Down the end zone. Start first and 10 from the 20. So the Knights will take over first down and 10. Nine forty six remaining in the ball game. The Knights are going to huddle up and now they're going to take the field. First down and ten. Play action, looking to go deep. Play's not there, no, he's gonna air it out to the sideline and that looks like it was intended for no one. That could be an intentional grounding, they say no. Just gonna throw that one away.
bring up second down and 10 for the Knights. Nine thirty-nine remaining in the ball game. Second down and ten. Take the snap, looking to throw. He's gonna air this one out deep as a receiver just overthrew him. And Giovanni Joseph was on the coverage. Bring up a third down and ten for the Knights. Marshfield looking to get a big stop here on a third down and 10. Marangelo is going to come into the game. Joseph, I think, is going to play that QB spy. Third down and 10. We're 9.33 away from this game being over. Take the snap. He's gonna roll out to the right, he has nowhere to go. Still looking for time, he's gonna dance back around, try and do it on his feet, and the Rams come up to make the tackle. And to do it himself, not gonna pick up the yardage for a first down. Clock's gonna stop, Leach gets the stop for the Rams. A little bit of a pickup, fourth and eight coming up for the Knights, this could be biggest play of the game right here. Five or a 12 point lead for the Rams. 9-21 going for it in their own territory. Take the snap, throw over the middle, it's caught. Oh, the ball came loose. The ball came loose. And it's either an incomplete pass or a fumble. Either way, the Rams are gonna get the ball back. They fell on it. They say fumble. And 9-14 remaining, the Rams are gonna take over on offense. I think we had some flags come in on the play. Divine, the safety jumped on the fumble. And another turnover. First down and 10, 9-14 remaining. The Rams are gonna take over. True is in the backfield. Take the snap, hand off to True up the middle. He's cut down by that defensive line. Pickup of about a yard. Marshfield just trying to burn as much clock as they can. It is a two score game at the moment. We're under nine minutes remaining. Rams just looking to burn clock. If you're a Rams fan, you got a two score lead and you're 840 now away from appearing for in the state championship for the first time since 2014. Carroll to the outside makes a big cut. And he's gonna be close to that first down marker. It's gonna depend on the spot. 827 remaining with a stopped clock. They're gonna say he's short, bring up a third down. Third and two. Third and two is the official call from the PA here. True in the backfield to the right of Moss. He's going to send a man in motion. Hard count. Does not get anyone to jump. Marshall looking for a new play to the sideline. Couples comes in motion to the right. They're going to take the snap handoff to True up the middle. And he's got the yardage for a first down for the Rams. Davin True doing it with his legs once again. Also will keep the clock running. Waiting on the spot and now the official says move the chains first down. Rams are gonna keep rolling. 807 remaining and the clock is running through Marshfield. Just gotta keep going ground game the entire time. Under eight minutes now remaining on a fresh set of downs. First and 10. 
Marshfield's getting their big unit out there. Clock is still running. The Rams have to hurry up a little bit here. They took a lot of time. They're going to take a snap. Hand off to Couples, who goes up the middle, and he's cut down. Picks up gain of about three. Bring up a second and seven for the Rams. Clock still ticking. It's Marshfield's biggest enemy right now, it feels like. They can punch in another one here, too. That would be the difference. Carroll comes in motion. Moss is going to keep it himself on a QB draw up the middle, pushing with his big offensive line, and he's going to pick up a first down. Tor Moss, the big junior quarterback, stays on his feet. And Marshfield still putting a push together. Seven minutes remaining in the game, under seven now, 6.57. Rams with a 12 point lead, 45 to 33. And a first down and 10 with a first down and, and distance to go. Rams with a chance to go to Gillette Stadium, first time since 2014 where they won it. Clock is still ticking, first down and 10. They're gonna hand it off to True up the middle. True ties forwards, a couple extra yards. Decent pickup of about four. Bring up a second down, clock is still running. If you're the Rams, you gotta think you're probably in Drosopolis' range too, if you wanna maybe run this one down all the way, keep going, run. And then maybe see if he can attempt a field goal. You already have a two score lead. So right now the Rams right now are just trying to get another extra safety blanket. And Marshfield taking up all of the play clock right now. Not wasting any time at all. They're huddling up even. We never see that from the Rams. They're gonna throw outside to Carroll. Carroll makes the cut, stays on his feet and goes out of bounds when he picks up a first down for the Rams. The offense is moving right now for Marshfield. And the clock management is phenomenal. First down and goal for the Rams. Clock is still ticking. They're gonna hand this one off up the middle with Couples in motion. Couples gets maybe a yard on that. Bring up second down and goal. 525 remaining. Sanchez on the tackle. And again, we got to mention it because it's crazy. We never see Marshfield huddle up. I mean, this is a surprise in itself. They usually go quick. They go with the signal callers. But to burn time, they're going with Moss huddling up and telling the O-line the play. It's probably the first time we've seen that all year. What a time to break it out, able to burn clock. And this is just, uh, instead of just having your linemen line up in their three-point stance, we're under five minutes, 4.50 remaining now. Carroll comes in motion. They're going to take the snap. Carroll makes a cut. Carroll diving close to the goal line. And it's going to be down just at the one yard line. Third and goal for the Rams. 435 remaining. Third down. Third and goal from the one. The one yard line. The Rams have a third down. Once again, huddling up. And every Marshfield Rams fan is on the edge of their seat right now, whether it be at home, whether you're sitting at a bar somewhere in Marshfield and playing the game, the fans in the stadium here at Bridgewater Raynham, everyone almost can't believe what they are seeing. CMs, the kings of Division Two, on the verge here. They're gonna hand it off to True up the middle. True's not gonna get there. He's gonna be at like that half yard line now. 350 remaining. And we'll see what the call is now. Looks like the offense is going to stay on the field for fourth and goal. Fourth down. Fourth and goal. So fourth, they're in well inside of either Kelly or Drosopoulos' range. They decide no. Keep the offense on the field and keep burning this clock with a chance to punch in. Another touchdown. Make this well out of reach. Can't jinx anything here. The CM team explosive on offense. A Rams team who's been through adversity all year. I think they're going to take a timeout one all the way down. And then we'll see if they 
bring out the team. Timeout's gonna be taken. We're gonna take a quick break. 307 remaining, 45 to 33, the Rams lead. And we will be back here on Marshfield Community Media. MCM coverage of MHS Sports is proudly presented by our silver sponsor, McNamara Financial. When it comes to your money and your financial affairs, let the McNamara family help you. There are four certified financial planner practitioners at McNamara Financial Services. For more information, call 781-834-2010 or visit us at McNamaraFinancial.com. Fourth down and goal from Bridgewater. Radom in the semifinals. The Rams is going to go for it. Mass is going to throw. Touchdown, Brady Crowley. Brady Crowley with a chance to ice the game. Catches a touchdown. And the Rams take a 51 to 33 lead. Brady Crowley off the play action is the man to ice it. And Kelly will now go on to attempt the extra point. Bergamesca holds, Kelly kicks through the uprights and good. 52 to 33 in favor of the Rams. And we're gonna keep you here real quick on MCM. I cannot believe what I am seeing. Two teams who came in, seven and two. The revenge game from 2021. Marshfield having to go through Bishop Fian, through Plymouth North, through CM, where they were counted out. CM promoted this game as the game before the game. Going for the three-peat, looking like it can be denied right now. And the Rams band starting to play here in the stands. Kelly is gonna kick this one back off. And it's gonna go through the back of the end zone. They thought it might have touched a CM player, they say no. And a flag is gonna come in late. Someone hit Leach a little bit late and that is going to be a penalty. So I'm gonna back it up a little bit with 303 remaining in the fourth quarter in the game. It feels weird to even say that, folks. It really does. Marshfield leads 52 to 33 versus the Kings of Division Two. And uh, if you still doubted, if it hasn't been said already, this Marshfield team is legit. Touted all year. Started off 0-2 with a big loss to St. John's Prep, then traveled to Methuen, where they lost a close one and been on a win streak ever since. Gotta give big kudos to this coaching unit. They've been so close every year. The coaching staff of Chris Aruka, and if they can hang on, they are just three minutes away. Game not over, definitely though, especially for CM. With a phenomenal offensive unit. First down and 10 for the Knights. Take the snap, look to throw. They're gonna air it out deep and it is dropped by the CM receiver. It's McCoy and that's his second drop of the day. Under three minutes remaining. Second down and 10 coming up. Emotions flaring right now. Receiver is going to come in motion to the left. 
take the snap, look to throw, throw to the outside, it is caught, makes a cut upfield and dragged out of bounds by Bongelotti and Marangelo. Isaiah Fabulous. Pick up a first down first for the down. Knights. Clock stops at 2.50. First down and 10 for the Knights. Even set receiver, take the snap, look to throw, air it out deep, and it is caught, and then a big hit laid out. Anthony Marangello. What a hit. Brown makes the catch, but Marangello, textbook hit right at the knees. Or the waist, I should say, excuse me. See what the call is here. We have a little bit of stoppage with 2.43 remaining in the fourth. That was number 21, Amar Skeeps. Correction, it was Amar Skeeps on the reception. The chains are not in the right spot at all right now. So I, I'm not sure what's up with that. Can we move the chains? Now I don't even know what's going on anymore. So I, I don't think it's a penalty. I think they're just getting the spot maybe. Personnel changing for the Rams. Chain's still not in the right spot. And here we go, okay. So the chains are gonna move now. I think the clock should be running and stopped. Now they're running, okay, they fixed it. First down and 10, take the snap, throw to the outside. It is caught, Bongelotti on the coverage and a first down is picked up. Close to the first down, we'll see where the spot is. I think they... First and 10. Okay, first and 10, clock is still running, so they did pick up the first down. First down and 10, trip receivers to the left. See him takes a snap, looking to throw, air it out deep, and it is caught and then knocked out. Will Devine came in to poke it out, along with Leary on the coverage. Great play from Will Devine. Bring up a second down and 10, 2.14 remaining in the ball game. Whistles being blown, a little bit of a stoppage. And we're gonna take an official's timeout really quick. So we're gonna keep you here on Marshfield Community Media for that. Give you the, um, a Ram is down as well, so we'll, we'll get back to that. You're the overview of this game. Both teams 7 and 2. CM the higher seed as the two seed. Marshfield the third seed. Revenge game from 2021 where CM won 41 to nothing versus Marshfield High School. Okay, so that was Divine that got hurt, and now he's able to walk to the sideline after making that big hit. Last playoff game these teams played, Marshfield got a win versus Bishop Fian. And CM got a win versus Wellesley. Second down and 10, throw over the middle, it's picked off! Did it hit the ground? They say yes, it hit the ground before. Leach could get another interception. That was Bongelotti, excuse me. Bring up 209 remaining in the ball game. Rams on top right now, and it's starting to start to get that feeling. Third and ten, tight set for the Knights. Take the snap. Has time. It's going to throw over the middle, and it's caught by the receiver. Tackle is made, and tackle made inbound. So clock will continue to run. Carrington on the reception for the Knights. First down picked up. Under two minutes remaining. Take the snap off at first and 10. Rolling to the right. Coverage is still there. He has nowhere to throw. It's gonna come in a coverage sack. 
as he's gonna run out of bounds to stop the clock, bring it down to a minute 43. That was Charlie Leach on the coverage. I think he gets credited with a coverage sack there. Yard lost. I'm sure you can't hear it on the shotgun, but the Marshfield fans are are fired up right now from the other side of the field. You can see him on that Marshfield sideline. Second and 15. CM takes a snap. They're going to throw to the flat, and that ball is overthrown. Bring up a third and 15 with a minute 39 remaining in the game, and a wild sequence of events here. At Bridgewater Raynham, the neutral location. Marshfield holding close to their average. They've averaged 53 points per playoff game at 52 right now, 41.6 on the season. These guys have stepped it up. Third and 13, pressure's coming. They're going to throw a screen. It is caught, makes a cut up field, and a great tackle by the Rams. And that was sharp on the reception the run after bring up a fourth down for CM. Clock is still ticking. Under a minute, the Rams with a chance to advance to Gillette Stadium to play in the state championship versus King Phillip on a fourth down. Take the snap, Russell's pressure's coming. Russell's last to track him down. He's gonna make a cut to the outside and he is gonna have a first down and runs out of bounds. Peter Bork, the quarterback himself, tries to take it and able to pick up a first down with 54 seconds remaining. First down and 10 for the Knights, 54 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. Bork is going to throw to the end zone and it is caught for a Catholic Memorial touchdown. Okay, so that is Matherin, I believe, on the touchdown catch for the Knights. Make it a 52 to 39 game. They're going to attempt the extra point and probably go onside kick from there if you are. Catholic Memorial. Snap is good. The hold through the uprights with and could with 47 seconds remaining. We're going to take a quick break. The Rams are under a minute remaining to making a trip to the Division Two Championship. We'll be back. MCM coverage of MHS Sports is proudly presented by our silver sponsor, McNamara Financial. When it comes to your money and your financial affairs, let the McNamara family help you. There are four certified financial planner practitioners at McNamara Financial Services. For more information, call 781-834-2010 or visit us at McNamaraFinancial.com. Welcome back to Bridgewater Radom. CM's probably going to attempt an onside kick. The Rams unit is ready. And the Rams are going to fall on it. It will be Marshfield ball with 47 seconds remaining. And the Rams offense will take the field. And you can see the celebration is starting here at Bridgewater Radom. Everyone is fired up. The Rams are going to win the game after they take a couple of knees. And for the first time since 2014, the Marshfield Rams will take a trip back to Gillette Stadium to face King Phillip in the state championship. A team that was doubted by people around the league, around the town. They started off 0-2 with losses to St. John's Prep and Methuen. And now the Rams are taking a knee, and that's gonna do it. People told Chris Aruka this was gonna be the worst senior class 
to come through the town in 40 years. One final knee. And if you doubted this Marshfield team, you can kiss the horns of the Rams because the Marshfield Rams are in the state championship. Final score, 52 to 40. Thank you for joining us here on Marshfield Community Media. I'm Will Nicholson, Heather Allen on the camera, Sean Leary back in the studio. Thank you for joining us. Roll, Rams, roll. Good night. Hello everyone and thanks for watching Marshfield Community Media. Tuesday, November 28th is Giving Tuesday and MCM is asking for your support this holiday season. Your donation will enable us to continue to produce high quality content for the Marshfield community such as news, sports and government meetings. MCM is a 501c3 nonprofit organization whose mission is to connect the community through media. Much of our funding comes from fees paid by cable subscriptions to the town of Marshfield. Trending declines in cable subscriptions has resulted in decline from our main funding source. Please support MCM on Giving Tuesday and throughout this holiday season. Scan the QR code on the screen so you can help us continue to provide great content such as MHS Athletics, Marshfield Community News, and gavel to gavel coverage of government meetings. Thank you for your support and have a wonderful holiday season. MCM coverage of MHS Sports is proudly presented by our silver sponsor, McNamara Financial. When it comes to your money and your financial affairs, let the McNamara family help you. There are four certified financial planner practitioners at McNamara Financial Services. For more information, call 781-834-2010 or visit us at McNamaraFinancial.com.